Welcome in, welcome in, welcome back to the Crypto Bully Bear channel. And this is why I'm bullish on XLM. Watch what he screams. All right. So here, so who's Stella? That's Stella. So Stella is actually Marty's mother's mother. So Stella, that would make Stella Marty's grandmother. And we all know that the official queens all start off with the grandmothers, right? Well, we don't know who really who the great grandmother is here. But we do know. We're gonna put this down here. So getting back into the dog. So yes, and I want to show you something else. Hold on. So before I do. After looking at these movies, again, this is why that I'm buying a bag of XLM, which is Stella Lumens, is because right then and there, you have a man screaming Stella in the movie Back to the Future. I take Back to the Future with cryptocurrency, and I relate them, all of them with cryptocurrency. That's just me. I don't want you to do what I do. Do your own research. But I'm telling you, on my journey, i seen the movie, and i seen that. The guy screamed out Stella. If you actually go look at... Um, the cartoon, The Jetsons, it came out in the 60s and they were talking about futuristic stuff with robots and flying cars and and folding your car into a briefcase. I mean, they had so much technology in the early 60s, so imagine. Imagine what they knew back then that they didn't tell us so far. Anyway, I am bullish on XLM. XLM is another coin that I'm bullish on and I think that it'll be in one of the top threes. That's just my opinion. I'm not saying I'm right. But I do feel that it should be top three. No, guaranteed in top five. Guaranteed in top five. I would really say I would think in top three. Not exactly sure. Um, but, yeah. So just off that particular movie clip and you see the car Nissan and you see that symbol. That's also the Stella symbol. You go to... Family Feud, and you look in the background where they um, have the answers hanging. If you look at the background, it's also like an outline of the Nissan sign, which is the Stella symbol. So it's all in your faces. If you watched um, when Trump was actually in office in the administration, and they had Mnuchin speaking out in front of the White House, and they had the lights hanging out with the, uh, I don't know, with some type of um, podium in front of him with like wires hanging. It said XLM on the wires. It said Stella Labs on the particular tripod that was holding up whatever machinery was in front of Minuch. And I'm going to show you one last thing why I am super bullish on XLM and why I believe that she is the queen. And if everybody knows, the queen rules the world. It's not the king, it's the queen. And yes, XRP, I think, is the king, but I'm going to show you why I believe that XLM is the queen. Welcome back. Welcome back. So this, as you can see, I'm on the Stella Expert, all assets on the Stella Ledger, summary, ba da ba. Here you go. And I want to show you why. Now, these are dates now that they were activated, right? Hold on one second. Hold on one second. When Sorry, did I don't understand. When did the Stellar Network or blockchain go live? According to Stellar, the Stellar Network launched in 2014. Since then it's processed more than 2 billion operations made by over 6.5 million individual accounts. When was the Stellar blockchain activated? Here's what I found on the web. All right, so it doesn't tell you when it's activated, but they tell you that it went live in 2015, right? And here, I just want to show you. I was showing you over here, right? 2015, 2015, right? That's the Stellar Network. But hold up, homie. Do -do -po -po -do -po, po -do -po 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 -do -po. What does it say there? That asset, XLM, 1970, January 1st of 1970, created supply of 105 billion. 
okay? 105 plus billion, all right? Almost 7 million holders. So XLM been out hella long, all right? XLM has been out since 1970. And people want to tell me in my videos that I don't know what I'm doing. I'm bugging. I'm smoking. I'm tripping. I'm this. I'm that. I love you guys. You just show that you don't have your third eye. When you try to comment and you try to say how silly I am, you're basically just showing yourself up and just showing that your third eye is not properly working. Now, I just found this out the other day. I knew this shit was out a long time ago. I was showing you stuff from G.I. Joe and people were laughing. And I love it. And I love it. Because that just shows that not too many people have the gift that I got. And as I just showed you, it's not bullshit. It's not me saying I'm assuming. I just guaranteed you that <laughs> XLM's been out since 1970. Way back since the credit card. This is why I told people, if you're using a credit card and you're trying to criticize cryptocurrency, you are a moron. You don't understand what you hold. You just have a plastic card that are moving digital assets, stable coins, okay? You have about, you have a thousand dollar limit. You have a thousand stable coins on your credit card. You never get money to your house, right? Everybody said, oh, Cryptocurrency is money that you can't see, you can't touch. Well, so is a fucking, excuse my language, but so is a credit card. A credit card is money that you can't see and you can't touch. You apply for a certain amount. Another bank goes and they go over the numbers to see if you're able to afford what they're going to loan you. And then they set out and they give you your cryptocurrency. And you're just spending it on a plastic card. As of right now... You're spending crypto on a plastic card, and now they're going to take the card away from you, and now they're going to make just use your phone. So now they want you to understand how cryptocurrency works. Before, it didn't matter because you were just getting money on a plastic card. No one ever questioned how did the money get there, what tools did they use, what programs do they use. I don't even see the money. Nobody cared about that. But now when it comes to being on your phone and this and that, everybody wants to question something. So you can sit there and you can question all you want and you can wait for answers and you can miss the train, the boat, the plane, whatever you want to say. I am going to buy a bag just on that particular motion alone. And even XRP, Back to the Future, it was inside the taxi. Okay, that was part two, Back to the Future 2. And there's so many other symbols that I see that to me represents XRP and Ripple throughout that movie so xlm is the queen she ain't going nowhere she's probably one of my top dogs and when i was driving home from work this morning i was like i wonder why jeb is dropping all these xrps and I, i'm not saying i'm not bullish on xrp just curious why why and I haven't really dug into the XRP ledger to state or see when um, Ripple actually, if Ripple came out any earlier in the 70s or 60s or whatnot. Curious. Because if Stella activated that shit in the 1970s, I'm sorry, 1970, beginning January 1st of 1970, then this was well known in the 60s. When... The Jetsons came out, and the jet and um, the boss, Mr. Spacey, Mr. Spacely, his wife's name is Stella. 